As an indigenous woman, I grew up with stories. Stories explain the world, and science explains the world. And oftentimes people are like, well, there's a huge split between tradition and science. And it's like, actually, no. A lot of tradition is just explaining science in a way that communicates the masses. A lot of us who grow up in different communities that aren't part of the majority, we live in two worlds. We can often feel sort of isolated. I'm Stockbridge Mohican Muncie. When I was in high school, our mascot was the Redskins. They had this big porcelain native that they would bring out. This girl came up to me one day and she's like, I'm so sorry they're doing this to you. And I was like, what? That's when it clicks, like, oh, people see that and they think of me? My culture is rich and it's complex, but it's definitely not a cartoon. I felt like an outsider and I ran away. Here I was, like, hopping buses and living on my own and feeling sort of lost. I needed an outlet to express myself. So I started a blog. I would write these rambly rants about indigenous issues and people started giving me advice, all of it unsolicited, but all of it exciting because it means somebody's hearing me. I remember one of the comments was like, if you're serious about changing this, you would go to school. I think a lot of seeds sort of fall, but that was the seed that was sort of planted. And it was kind of like, yeah, I do want to go to school, but I don't really know how. <laughs> I didn't know anyone in my direct family that went to college. So it was like, who do I talk to? Who do I ask? And I think that's where I realized like, okay, it's not just about how to go to college. It's about what college, how to pay for college. There's a lot of acronyms in this alphabet soup that I didn't understand but I made it my mission to understand all of this, and then I made out a plan. Instead of a mainstream school, I knew I wanted to go to a tribal college. These schools are so important because it's our own community teaching us and setting the measures for success. That first day of class, in walks our professor, who is a doctor, it sort of blew my mind, because I've never met somebody who was a doctor who was Native American. I was finally around other students who were similar to me in a larger sense. No one here has ever asked me why I don't look like Pocahontas or if I live in a teepee. However you are, that's Native. It really helped me develop my confidence, and that's such an important part of pursuing things. And so I went from like how to go to college and how to pay for college to what comes next in college. Everyone has internships. And so it's like, well, how do I get an internship? Like where are internships offered? I got an internship in DC at the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which is one of the oldest science organizations in America. I love science and I love tech, but right now the indigenous voice is largely missing from these industries. That's a cyclic problem. There's not a lot of natives because the opportunity isn't there. Let's create the opportunity so we can get more natives in tech. If you asked me years ago if I would ever be invited to the White House, legally invited to the White House, <laughs> or flown to New Zealand for research, or organized American Indian hackathons, I wouldn't fathom those things. I would dream about those things, but I wouldn't actually see how to go from A to B. Robin is trying to open a whole new world to her peers. They see through her example that 
they too have that potential. No dumb question. There's nothing wrong with not knowing something. There's no opportunity that you're not allowed to at least try for. There's often this idea that in order to get opportunities, we have to leave the res. But I feel like we need to start looking at creating these opportunities on the reservation. You can be a researcher, you can be a computer programmer, you can do this, and you can bring your culture with you. <laughs> We're the generation that was able to go to tribal college because of the work that the people before us did. I'm going to be part of that generation that gets a PhD and spreads this further. That's how you bring a community up. Most people thought I was an 11-year-old with a simple science fair idea. But I knew that if I could get this to work, I could help to never see another Flint water crisis again. 